Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the latest reports, the ATAGS which is jointly developed by DRDO and TASL has successfully completed the PSQR firing trials. During the trial, the ATAGS fired multiple rounds which were to test and ascertain the reliability and accuracy of the gun. The firing was done in multiple rounds in various zones including burst, intense and sustained modes. These trials will eventually pave the way for the induction of ATAGS. However, it's important to note that the test which has been completed was for firing and there are a few more tests remaining for ATAGS which is for the non-firing parameters. DRDO hopes to clear these tests in a month's time. Following the completion of these trials, an RFP or tender will be issued to Bharat Forge and TASL. The initial order of 150 ATAGS will be split between Bharat Forge and TASL at an estimated cost of Rs. 3,365 crore. Indian Army has a requirement of 1,580 such guns which will be procured in phased manner. The ATAGS has excellent accuracy, consistency, mobility and automation. In burst mode, the rate of fire of the ATAGS is 6 rounds in 30 seconds. In intense mode, the rate of fire is 15 rounds in 3 minutes and in sustained mode, the rate of fire is 60 rounds in 60 minutes. Back in 2017, during a trial, it broke the world record for 155 mm gun by firing to a distance of 47.2 km. The secret of ATAGS longer range is its larger chamber which is 25 liters compared to 23 liters in most of the 155 mm guns like French Nexter and Israel Elbert guns which military has already evaluated. A large chamber packs in more high explosive propellant which shoots the warhead further. The need to cater for this higher shock of firing makes ATAGS a heavier gun. The artillery gun weighs 18,000 kg while compared to the other guns worldwide in same category which lies between 14 to 15 tons. While ATAGS looks much like Bofors FH-77B or infamous Bofors gun, the 155mm 52 caliber ATAGS is bigger than 155mm 39 caliber Bofors gun. The Dhanush, which is DC Bofors gun, is being manufactured by Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited. It was developed to replace the older 105mm Indian field gun 105mm light field gun and the Russian 122mm guns with a modern 155mm artillery gun. But Dhanush has been troubled child since its incubation. Back in April 2019, when the induction of this gun started, only 12 of them were built which is far below the 18 guns plus 2 in reserve required to make a full regiment. OFB had an initial order of 114 guns to be executed. While the army is satisfied with the guns in terms of firepower and mobility, it has flagged multiple concerns regarding the production quality. Now back in March this year, it was reported that this gun has cleared all trials. The Hovitzer has reported range of 38 km. In burst mode, the rate of fire of Dhanush is 3 rounds in 15 seconds. In intense mode, the rate of fire of Dhanush is 15 rounds in 3 minutes and in sustained mode, the rate of fire is 60 rounds in 60 minutes. The gun weighs around 13,000 kg. The completion of trial for ATAGS and Dhanush is good news for Indian Army for its much needed artillery requirement which will be now fulfilled indigenously. This was today's update. 
Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.